So women have made it in, in enormous strides. They've made me really happy. But of late, we've been very concerned about the level of violence against women. And I have no idea why suddenly we have this phenomenon creeping into our society. One theory is that because men have had such a dominant uh, space in life, that uh, being challenged by a woman is something that they are mm. subconsciously rejecting. And they have the physical strength to do that, and therefore they use their physical strength. And when they use their physical strength, uh, sometimes they exert it beyond, uh, beyond the life of the particular individual. Mm. We've seen so many uh, women being killed either by people they know or people they love, they, they, they've respected and loved, mm. that we've decided to, to change uh, the terminology we use. We're now talking of femicide. Mm. Femicide is what is happening in this country, large-scale killing mm. of young, especially young women. Mm. And when you look at them, it's young, beautiful women. Uh, and uh, we we are wanting to ensure that we give the harshest treatment to anybody found mm. guilty of doing of raising their hand mm. to a woman or perpetrating any kind of violence against women, mm. even even verbally. Uh, and uh, we we we're now calling it femicide because if we don't call it femicide, nobody will understand just how serious a crime it is. Mm. Uh, Gender-based violence is uh, beginning to show its head in our country and uh, there's something wrong. Mm. Something is wrong somewhere. And uh, we're examining what it is that has gone wrong with our society. And... Uh, my message to the women of this country is uh, we fought very hard, not only to get equality between mm. black and white, mm. but to get equality uh, also between mm. men and women. A country that <clears throat> holds its women in bondage is uh, possibly the most backward country ever. Mm. Because in women, you have the potential that, uh, that could make the difference between uh, life and death. Mm. We provide life, mm. we mm. protect life. Mm. We, pro we provide that in society, which is the most essential. Uh, and therefore men need to understand that and protect that. Mm. By protecting women, they're protecting their own future. They're protecting their own integrity. They're protecting the integrity of society and everything that we hold dear. Um, it, it's it, it's something that we had not anticipated would happen so soon after our after our democracy, uh, and we're turning our attention to it. Mm. Uh, we had thought at some point that uh, we need to um, get men more involved in um, saying no to violence against women. We've gone beyond that now. We're changing our laws mm. to make our laws fight. Uh, sometimes when women are angry, they go for worst case scenario, mm. which is not allowed in our country. Mm. So we won't go and go there. Mm. But we're tightening our laws around gender-based violence to make sure that anybody who crosses the line mm. gets the ultimate uh, sentence that can be given to anybody, apart from the death sentence, of course, mm. which is uh, forbidden in mm. our country. Uh, so it's 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 a happy time that we come together and uh, support each other, mm. but we also are living in an unfortunate period of gender-based violence. Mm. Mm. But to our young women, they 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 make the world go round. They are that which provides our future. Mm. They are that which makes a difference uh, in any setting. Uh, they are. And we have beautiful women in this country. Uh, and they are just the best species you could find. I mean, what can I say? I'd like mm. them to look after themselves and grow up and make sure that this country is uh, in good hands, mm. that all that we fought for uh, becomes a reality, 
that nobody can take away anybody's right, especially a basic right like life, uh, uh, for any reason whatsoever. Mm. And I wish them well. I wish them happy Women's Month. And I want them to know that uh, we fought very hard to get where we are because we love them. Because we want to make sure that nobody ever goes through what we had to, had to go through.